Welcome. Modern Humans Mosaic Build Up by Groups Amarant Group Q and African Group A as Suggested Ancestors Presented as examples of groups are the frequency maps of the Y-DNA groups Q, purple to the left, and A, red to the right. In other videos I report fundamental proofs that prove that Amarant Q, purple, is the ancestor of all modern humans. Historically consensus presents African A, alpha, red, as ancestor, but until today consensus could not report similar fundamental proofs, as it could report for Q. When consensus first presented A as ancestor, some if not all of the fundamental proofs and the needed markers did not exist yet, or results were not sufficiently available or verified. Amarant Group Q Q covers over 80% of the area of South and North America with a very high frequency of over 60% as well as an exceptionally large part of the world with a lower frequency. When the Q coverage is expressed in inhabitants, I estimate this coverage as much more than 80% in the case of the Americas, because the area where the Q frequency drops is Arctic, subarctic or very cold and its vegetation is coniferous forest. No other group comes close to achieving a similar, extensive and high-frequency coverage of the world as Q does. This is certainly a feat that the ancestor of all humans should feature, and Q is the only one that features it. Zoom in on Europe. Presented leftover Q, red to rose, in low frequencies in Europe. I speak about leftover Q because the origin Q is a very old group that underwent several turnover events from more organized or more warfare-oriented hybrids after seemingly Q populated most if not all of the world. Since Q in Europe regards lower frequencies that also do not cover very large, continuous areas anymore, Q in Europe does appear only limited in the world map, which starts presenting frequencies only starting from 2% frequency. This makes Q seem absent in Europe, while it is not. Presented are four groups, Ancient DNA Research, David Reich, Green, Red, Blue and Brown, of which at least two are boomers or groups of Y-DNA R1, Romeo 1, that appeared roughly 8,000 years ago in Western Eurasia. Since the boomers are hybrids, and since hybrid groups can differ very much from one to another, because they can be of different making, these four groups are very different in an unexpected and for biology atypical way. There are indications that the four groups are hybrids arriving from the Americas by different routes. There are indications that at least two of these four groups are R1 are hybrids or boomers that come from the North America route and cradle. Haplogroup R1A, YDNA, Eupedia. Amarant R1, red, population spread genes for light skin blonde hair, and red hair. J.M., when a group, like R1, has emphasis on Iceland and on the western parts of Great Britain, this is already an indication it is amaranth and came through the North Atlantic route. There is now strong evidence that both R1A and R1B tribes, during the Bronze Age, contributed to the diffusion of the A111T mutation of the SLC24A5 gene which explains approximately 35% of skin tone difference between Europeans and Africans, and most variations within South Asia. Since these four groups were mixed before 4,000 years ago, and that this happened most probably during the Western Eurasian turnover that is led and dominated by R1, this is one more indication that no Africans were involved in the population of Europe with modern humans. There is plenty of evidence the actual morphologies like these of Bwatai, Yamnea, Sintashta, etc. people and all other Western Bronze Age cultures were there right away after the mass appearance of these groups. Their animals and animal-oriented cultures were there right away as well. Morphology, extra white skin, animals, location points to non-African origin and to the Arctic Yenisei River entry, Route 1 which is the preferred entry of amarins and hybrids amarind alike, especially when they bring their larger animals, which they heavily depend on, with them. The time is way too short for any evolution from special dark skin to special white skin and the development of the mutations mentioned above that are brought from the North America root and cradle. 
Further between 10,000 and 4,000 years ago, there were no Neanderthal anymore and any eventual African would have been turned over by the mass turnover events that are clearly shown here and proven by ancient DNA research, David Reich. First there was Q, and then there was I, G, and H, and next came the Amerind boomers are one and overturned all of them. No African groups appeared in between, and if they had they would have been overturned, just like all others. What had taken over and was left was a more recent Amerind DNA, or Native American DNA. It was hybridized Amerind DNA from a place in South America that came from the mass harvested Amerinds that were brought together amongst others in Colombia before being transported to the cradles in North America. Thank you for watching.